In this video, we're going to look at rearranging equations and formulae. Let's start off with a basic example. We might have 2 and then p plus x is equal to 4 and then we'll have q minus x. We might be asked to make x the subject of this formula. So I can see I've got an x on the left hand side, I've got an x on the right hand side and in both cases they're in the brackets. So what we need to do is expand the brackets on both sides and collect the terms in x. So on the left hand side I'm going to have 2p plus 2x. So all I've done is expanded the brackets. On the right I'm going to have 4q and then I'm going to have minus 4x. At this stage I'm going to add 4x to both sides so we'd have now 2p plus 2x plus the 4x is equal to the 4q. I don't want anything on the left hand side that doesn't have an x in so I'm going to subtract 2p from both sides. At this stage we can collect the terms in x. 6x is going to be equal to 4q minus 2p. So now all we need to do is divide both sides by 6. So we can say that x is going to be equal to 4q minus 2p over 6 and at this stage we can divide now through by 2 and write that x is going to be equal now to 2q minus p over 3. All I've done at this stage is divided now top and bottom of the equation by 2. So a nice straightforward example where we're making x the subject. Okay let's look at another one. Let's say we've got p minus q is going to be equal to p x and we want to make p the subject. I'm going to collect now the terms in p on the left hand side. So I'm going to have p minus q minus p x is equal to zero. I'm now going to add the q to both sides so we've got p minus p x will be equal to q. I want to make p the subject and I can see now that it's common to both of these terms. So factoring it out we'd have p 1 minus x is equal to q. We want to make p the subject, so we divide both sides by the content of the bracket. So we'd have q over 1 minus x. So all we've done now at this stage is made p the subject of the equation. Let's look at another one. Let's say we've got now q is equal to, and we'll have p minus 3, and then we'll have 5 minus p. And we want to make p the subject of the equation. So we can see here now that we have p in the numerator and p in the denominator. So what I'm going to do at this stage now is multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. That will give me q 5 minus p will be equal now to p minus 3. I want to collect p's on one side. So what I'm going to do is expand the brackets and that will give me 5q minus pq. Remember, it doesn't matter if you write q5 or qp. Really, uh, we should write it as 5q. doesn't matter with your p and the q. And that's going to be equal now to p minus 3. At this stage, I'm going to add 3 to both sides and add pq to both sides. That means that now on the right-hand side, I'll have terms that include p. So if we do that, we've got 5q and then we'll have plus 3 is going to be equal to p plus pq. So on the right hand side I've collected all the terms that include p, on the left hand side I've collected all the terms that don't. So what we've got then now is 5q plus 3 and factoring now p as a common factor we've got 1 plus q and we simply divide through by the content of the bracket and we can write that 5q plus 3 divided by 1 plus q is equal to p. So we've made p the subject. So we've multiplied through, expanded the bracket, collected like terms, refactored and then divided through. So at this stage we should hopefully spot now that p is a common factor and we've just divided through. Let's finish with one more. Let's just have another example. What we'll do in this one, we'll make p the subject. So let's say we've got now p and then we'll have now, let's have this over x minus p and we'll let that be equal to and we'll go for 2x at this stage. So what we want to do is make p the subject of this particular equation. I'm going to square both sides. 
If I square now the square root of p over x minus p, I'm going to just end up now with x minus p in the denominator, p in the numerator. That's going to give me 2x, which we need to square. So we can see at this stage, p over x minus p will be equal to 4x squared. We're trying to make p the subject. So at this stage, I'm going to multiply both sides now by the quantity x minus p. p will be equal now to 4x squared multiplied by x minus p. At this stage, we now need to expand the brackets. So p is going to be equal to 4x cubed. Then we're going to have now minus 4px squared or x squared p. At this stage, I want to make p the subject, so I'm going to add now 4px squared to both sides. So we have p plus 4px squared is equal to 4x cubed. I now take the common factor of p out, so I have p 1 plus 4x squared, and that's going to be equal to 4x cubed. And now I simply divide through by the content of the bracket, so I've got 4x cubed over 1 plus 4x squared, or if we like, 4x squared plus 1. And that now makes P the subject. So there are some examples of where we would have to manipulate equations and formulae. And often it's a case of expanding out and refactoring. So these have been a quick work through. If you need a full tutorial, you'll find now a link on the site just here. But this is just to give you an idea of some of the typical examples that you might be asked to do. It doesn't give you all of them. It just gives you an idea of some.